In this recording, I'm going to show you how to change your landings page of your iOS slider um, when somebody goes to your chapter's website. Um, what I'm talking about is basically this slider image right here that rotates every few seconds. Um, you have the ability to add as many as you want and upload it to your, to your website yourself. Um, Keep in mind that you do have to have this image created ahead of time to have it upload onto the website. And you can also find the pixels of the size of the image by right-clicking the image and then go to inspect. And then on the right side of your screen will pop up all of these kind of coding and HTML um, sort of things. Hover over the eight, uh, this little margin icon and border. This will show you the pixel size of the image itself. So in this case, it's 882 by 314. So that is the size of your image that you will make. Now, your computer will show something different, perhaps something bigger or smaller compared to the ratio I have now. Um, don't worry about that because just go ahead with whatever computer size you have because it will adjust and rotate. Um, to the size of the screen along with the correct ratio. So as long as you have the correct ratio, you're fine. Um, another thing I do want to kind of mention is you do have a little like pop-up screen sometimes over here for your computer screen that will show the login information of asking for some someone to log in their information. Um, that will obtrude and it will block your image if you do happen to have an image over there on this side of the screen. Um, so what I recommend is to have all of your images either on the center to right portion of the screen so that way it doesn't block any of the things that you're trying to show. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, you do have to be logged into your admin dashboard to access this page and do all of these um, components. So once you're logged in, go ahead and click edit pages. Now we are going to be editing the pages called or the page called the home page. So once all of this page, all these pages pull up, just go ahead and go to the search option right here and just type in home page. And then click search pages and then it will bring you up that page that you want to be changing and making edits on. So go ahead and just click home page and it'll bring you up the edit options. So once you're in the home page, all you have to do is kind of scroll towards the little bottom portion and then you'll be working with this area right here called underneath page builder. Now we are going to be doing the iOS slider. So all you have to do is just to make, make the expand, just click on the edit icon and then it will give you all of these options. You can just default all of, the, all of these options towards the top to whatever the options you have. And you can also add in as many slides as you want to rotate. So to open and expand it, all you have to do is click the edit icon and it will expand the image of what you had before. And to just close that again and collapse it, you can just edit, press that again. And you can trash it by clicking the trash icon. Again, expanding it, it is just click the edit icon and it will appear again. And again, you do have to have the image already pre-made and you just have to upload the image and then just drag it and upload the file, or if it's already in your media library, just drag it or select file, and then you can upload and insert it into the page right here by clicking this blue button. There is an option to do kind of like a link, but only with one source. So for instance, if you want your page to have this kind of a explore membership benefits up here, then it will be underneath all of these slide main title, slide big title, slide small title, and the slide link. So you can put the link here. Now I'm going to show you an example of what would appear where by using an example that we have already made, which is this first one. So we'll expand that and just follow the format here of what it would look to appear. So for instance, if you want your format to have the empower, educate, expand, space like that, then your format and your coding use will be this bar right here. The empower, educate, and expand. And that would be your slide main title. The little scrolly screen at the bottom of the screen right here, the little black, eye, the black ribbon that pulls over explore membership benefits, this will be underneath your slide big title and you can just have it there. Now once you have this in, you will need to have it linked somewhere. So your link URL has to go somewhere. In this case, um, because it's an internal system, we can just put membership for ours. 
But if you have like a external link, for instance, you need to go to a Bank of America website or a Chase website, then you would put that link that they give you or you would put www.chase.com or something similar like that where it would actually link over to their website. Once you are finished, just go ahead and collapse the screen right there and then click done and scroll all the way to the top and then click update the button right here and then it will update that home page for you and then from there you should be able to see your new page scrolling back and forth from here and that's all that's all it is to it if you have any questions feel free to reach out to the RN National Office and someone there will be able to help you out and kind of walk your way through it.